Okay, so what is up everybody? It's Cookie here, and today I am back with another Destiny video. I know my Destiny videos aren't the best, they aren't the, mess, the most successful, but I do enjoy playing Destiny, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how to get the best way, the best way to get prepared for the upcoming DLC, Rise of Iron. So with the upcoming DLC coming out, Rise of Iron, there's gonna be a new raid, a new strike, new Crucible maps, as well as, most importantly, an upgrade in light. The light's gonna be going from 335 to 380, and then after that, 400. So overall, the maximum light is gonna be at 400 light. So in this tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you the best possible head start you can get when Rise of Iron first comes out. You're gonna be ahead of nearly everybody playing it in the first hour or so. So let's get into the tutorial. First off, a great way of starting getting a head start on the Rise of Iron is obviously getting your light high. You wanna get your light as high as you can as soon as the DLC comes out, obviously. And exotics are a great way to do that. Just using three of coins, saving up exotics, I have about 12 of now. I'm definitely gonna get more. I'm planning to save about 50 or 100 for when Rise of Iron comes out, do a huge opening on my channel. But exotics are a great way to get started on your light, give you a huge head start because it's just so easy. Um, you can basically turn them in when the Rise of Iron comes out. You can't get new Rise of Iron exotics, but you can get higher light. So let's say you're 335, you're gonna get about 336, possibly even 337 exotics. You infuse those, keep getting higher light slowly. But you, if you have about 100 exotics, you're going to get a pretty high light pretty fast. There you go. On to step two. So now that you've saved up about 50 to 100 exotics, you are set for that whole aspect of the head start to Rise of Iron. Another great way is called edging your factions. Now, faction rep goes up to about 2,500 on like Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, etc. So what I do is I edge my factions, that's what it's called. It's called getting your, your rep for each faction to very close to maxing it out. So then right when the Rise of Iron drops, you can just quickly just put it over using a random material or just a mode of light or something, maybe even a few. And then you've got a self a package which gives you higher light gear. So that is a very good way, as well as it gives you strange coins and modes of light, which is pretty cool. You can also just edge your Crucible as well, so you can just play like one or two Crucible maps and you'll level up your Crucible. You can do this with Vanguard, Crucible, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, Future War Cult, as well as Eris Morn. Um, you can do it with like all the other factions, but Eris Morn, uh, you can't really get too much from other than just like black wax idols and stuff like that. But edging your faction is a great way to get new weapons as well as higher light gear on top of your exotics. So now that you have those done, a new DLC just came out, you're getting new weapons, lots of new armor, is just it's just costing a lot of weapon parts, armor materials, and especially all of those relic irons, spin metal, all of that stuff. It's gonna cost a lot of that. So you're gonna wanna get plenty of relic iron, you wanna get an excess, an overhaul amount of all of those materials. The best way to do that is just do everything daily. Do all the daily stuff, get legendary marks from all the daily stuff, daily heroic, daily just crucible missions, whatever, as well as all of your weekly legendary marks from Vanguard Heroic Strikes. You wanna get as much legendary marks as possible, just whether it's from dismantling gear or doing the daily stuff, and then spending those on your materials. I have about 300 of each material right now, I mean, give or take a few, but I'm trying to save up for a few thousand of each before Rise of Iron comes out because it is always good to have an excess amount of materials so you're not ever running out when you're upgrading your new weapons and armor from the Rise of Iron DLC. You can obviously also go to the planets and just discover them. A good method for that is getting a ghost shell that, let's say you're on Mars and you're trying to find relic iron, getting a ghost shell that um, has a relic iron sensor, aiming with a sniper rifle and it shows you nearly all of the relic iron in the area that you are in. So that is a good way of getting an excess of materials and just helping you upgrade all of your new armor and weapons that you get from the new DLC. Also, if you haven't really realized by yet, also if you haven't really realized this yet, you obviously want to get to level 40 and get as close as you can to 335 light. All my guys are 335 light as I'm making this video. It's not that hard, just do the raids every week, etc. Now that you are this far in this video, you are nearly done getting prepared for the Rise of Iron. Motes of Light and Strange Coins aren't that easy to come across and they are very useful in the Destiny world. You're going to want to use Strange Coins for 3 of Coins and just the new exotics that Azura is going to be bringing in Rise of Iron. Motes of Light are always good for leveling up your new weapons and armor when you get them in the new Rise of Iron DLC. Motes of Light and Strange Coins aren't the easiest to come across like I was just saying. Vanguard Strikes as well as Crucible Missions are very easy and a really good way to get them. If you like just doing constant vanguard strikes, do those because it is a great way to get modes of light and strange coins as rewards. Crucible missions as well is very good. Bounties, doing all of your bounties, and just making sure you do Trials of Osiris every week as well as whenever Iron Banner comes out, it is a great way to get Iron Banner, modes of light, and strange coins. I personally haven't gone hunting for modes of light and strange coins yet, but I will definitely be doing that before Rise of Iron comes out, so that's why I don't have any gameplay of just me with my Lots of Light and Strange Coins. I don't have many, but I'm going to be definitely going for those. They are a very good thing and very 
rich material for you to want when starting up a new DLC. There isn't much more for me to say other than just make sure you do all of your weekly stuff. Va Vanguard Nightfalls are very good for getting exotics as well as legendaries for your legendary marks. You can also get up to 20 strange coins from um, Nightfalls, which are a very good way to get strange of coins, so make sure to do those. Trials of Osiris, just get your stuff done every week. Make sure you play the game, and in no time you will be paired and you will have a huge head start on anyone else playing the Rise of Iron DLC. If you guys want to see more Destiny or just Destiny tutorial videos, or even just tutorial videos in general, make sure to let me know in the comments and by liking this video. If this video hits 10 likes, then holy shit. Uh, my fault video actually just hit about like 30 likes or something and 2,000 views, which is absolutely insane. My most viewed video ever, so thank you so much for that. I appreciate it so much. I love you all, and I uh, guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.